If the returning Glenn Hoddle is Tottenham's favourite son, then the godfather of N17 is Bill Nicholson. A player in Arthur Rowe's push and run championship winning team of 1951, Nicholson went on to manage the club for 16 years and played a fundamental role in developing Tottenham's purest footballing principles. Now 82, he's been associated with Spurs for 65 years and still lives just minutes from White Hart Lane. His North London home, a shrine to his greatest ever achievement, the League and Cup double of 1961. Victory for Spurs would make this an historic final, a landmark in soccer history. Though spirited attacks were made by both teams, the scoreboard remained blank when the whistle blew for half time. The play of both sides livened up considerably after the interval. Suddenly, Bobby Smith seized his chance. Goal! Spurs' unrelenting pressure brought reward again. The ball was centered. Dyson headed a great goal. Spurs had won the cup 2-0. It's 64 years since the last time the double was won. Danny Blanchflower and his men have earned the right to be called the team of the century. Champagne on the house. Congratulations all round. They um, obviously wanted to celebrate on winning the league, which um, I said to them right away, OK, celebrate, enjoy it, but don't forget we got the other one to win. So if we can... All of a sudden, forget about the league anymore, and now forget, and now think about the cup. It was uh, a great success to win a match at Wembley. We couldn't have done anything better, really, throughout the whole of the season. Couldn't have done better, because that meant that we had done the double. It was Tottenham's third FA Cup, and for the third time, it had been won when the year ended in one. But was that such an issue 40 years ago? We did talk about it, but uh, not to, to any great extent. Nowadays, though, everybody talks about the year ending in one, because from 61 it goes on to 71. Everyone at Tottenham, you mean? Yes. Oh, course. yes, of course. <laughs> do you believe it's lucky for Spurs? Well, I do, obviously. You do believe it's lucky, because it, it happens like that, doesn't it? So... Arsenal against Tottenham in the semi-final for the Cup in 2001. Well, uh, it, it, it's Arsenal, isn't it? And as far as I'm concerned, I, I'm, I'm very disappointed that it is Arsenal because uh, I, I like Arsenal as well as Tottenham, but obviously I like Tottenham best and I would like Tottenham to win. If we could beat Arsenal this time, we should really be pleased with ourselves because this would be a harder match than any of the previous ones that we've had against Arsenal. Why harder? Because at present, we're, our team is fluctuating a little bit between, uh, oh dear, you know, he's not fit and he's not fit and there have been so many players who have not been fit enough to play for Tottenham, really. Some will say, yes, they're fit because it's an important game. Mm -hmm. And this is what attracts a lot of their attention. But at the same time, if you're not fit, you're not fit. Glenn Hoddle was confirmed as Spurs' new manager just days ago. Does Bill see that as a disadvantage? I know Glenn, and uh, I, I don't know him all that well, but I do know Glenn enough to know that he knows enough about Tottenham because he's been a Tottenham lad all, all through his career, really, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. And what will he bring back to Tottenham? If he would bring the, <laughs> the cup or the, or the championship back to Tottenham, everybody would think the world of him. So Hoddle's task is clear, to restore the glory, glory days to Tottenham Hotspur and follow in the hallowed footsteps of the club's greatest ever manager. <laughs>